everybody. Hey, everybody. Uh, Leanne here, and today, today we are trying a very different kind of wine that we have not had before. Um, and it's a Greek wine. Yes. And so we're gonna Opa. do Opa. So we're gonna do a Greek wine tasting today. And if you like all things food, wine, lifestyle, the occasional train wreck, you found the right place. Don't forget to hit the what subscribe. What is Greek for hello? Because I was gonna look that up. And you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> so, anyways, we are gonna be doing um, a Greek wine tasting. We decided to have a Greek Sunday. And um, I am making a feta cheese bake later, and we are going to have dolmas and feta cheese for our little snack right now, and try uh, this Greek wine. And so, this is the wine that we're going to be drinking today. And look at the camera, baby. I'm trying to look up basic <laughs> word greetings. Yeah, but I wanted you to look at the camera for the thumbnail. Okay, so... The, um, but it, uh, I, this, so the, see, where's our Greek friends when we, when we need them? They're going to, they're going to yell at us for butchering these Greek words. Gaisao. Gaisao. Yeah, Gaisao is hello. Or it, chit, it, oh, slash, t, oh, in Greek. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Carmen. Yeah, Carmen no, and Lisa are going to yell at yeah, us. Yeah, no, like, I was trying to, because I was going to look that up. Useful words. Where are we? Oh my gosh. Don't, I don't even know try. I, can, I just don't even it's try. Hard. So okay, anyways, anyways, we're gonna be talking about Greek wine today. Yes. And there's so um the information that I could find is that and I know I'm gonna butcher it. So the particular grape is the Agiorgitiko grape, which is in the um the Nemea region of Greece. And um, it is the most widely planted and the most popular um, grape that they grow in Greece. And they can use it, <coughs> it's very versatile, excuse me, and it can produce wines of various styles. Um, they can do rosé, light bodied red, um, using a, a carbonic maceration and a full bodied red. So it's a very versatile carbonic grape. Carbonic maceration. Which. <laughs> Which I really that like. That sounds kind of sexy, but a little <coughs> on the Why don't you have a little bit of wine? And when, um, when I was in Greece for, was it two weeks or three weeks? I think it was three weeks. I went to Greece for a couple of weeks, and oh my gosh, the food there is amazing. The wine was really good. <coughs> so when I found this bottle at Total Wine, it's about $13, um, I decided to pick it up. And um, that we would have a Greek kind of food to try it with. Yeah. And so the tasting notes are, oh, and I forgot. So this winery, which is Greek wine growers, uh, or wine cellars, it was established in 1895 by Vasily Kortakis, and he founded th this company. And then in 1905 is when they started producing wine. Mm. And then in 2000, eventually, you know, fast forward to 2000, that's when they changed it to Greek wine cellars. And so, but this is um, a very popular wine in Greece, and uh, they produce um, 30 million bottles a year, which is Damn. 50%, 50 yeah. of which is exported. Wow. So that's a lot of, of wine to produce every year. And so in the tasting notes, um, it is bright red cherry, chocolate, and anise aromas. Start this easy drinking red. Flavors of cinnamon, red cherry, smoke, and spice are soft and full. Pair with red meat, pizza, and game. So I want to try some too. Oh, okay. Well, I was good while you were talking. I was gonna, I was yeah, you can gonna do that. try to do a little bit of a thing, but yeah, while you were telling talking it, and I was so. What was it again? So bright was... red cherry, chocolate, and anise aromas. Yeah, that's nailed it. Yeah, bright red, definitely cherry. I don't really. Maybe at the finish. I think the anise chocolate. is. Yeah, I think the anise is definitely at the far back end of there. It really gets you in the back of the throat. Um. Yeah. Hmm. 
There's some residual sugar in there. It's very light. It's got a very light, but a unbroken cling. So it, it, it's you. Can, it's a little difficult to tell, but you can see that it doesn't. It doesn't. The cling is solid all the way through, but it's a light cling. It's not a heavy cling. And it's. So this doesn't really have any other um, notes on the back. Um, so let's try it. Let's try it. Well, cheers. Oh, cheers. To the new year. Well, happy new year. Hmm. It's um very different. Yeah. Hmm. And that's not a bad thing. Get you right in here. Yeah, it, it's, it's got that. I can definitely taste the cinnamon in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely taste the cinnamon. Yeah. Huh. Um. I actually it's a light wine. like it. God, this would be great. Just sitting there on a beach right now in Greece. Oh, yeah. Roasted, like roasted pig oh, or lamb or something would be pig. really good. Roasted yeah. pork. Pig. Roasted pig. Oh, it's roasted pig. Arr. <laughs> it's roasted. They roast a whole pig. That's why it's called roasted pig. I will have the roasted pig <laughs> with butchered chicken and I think it would cow. go great with like a a spit roasted pig. I think it really would. Yes. No. I yes. I'm giving. You, He's giving me crap. He always gives me crap. That's very. It's very. It's it's it's. And we've never. Light, a little tart. Yeah. I don't think I've. Now I may have had this uh, this grape when I was in Greece. That was oh my gosh, that was such a long time ago. Dry, like 15, 16 years ago. Dry, light. It, it is dry. Tart. You can taste that lime in that soil. I mean, you could taste that limestone, like that dry, rocky, like mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like very it's, minerally. Yes, very minerally. Yes. You and for a, for a red, that's unusual to have a minerally taste in a red. That you can taste I think the this might become a uh, must-have in the cellar, at least a bottle or two for. I actually that's like it. Really it oh, let's try. So let's try it with food. Yes. So so, so we're also featuring um, another product along with this. We're doing the Davina Dolmas uh, brand. So we're and gonna try that. This, and it's a stuffed grape leaf, which of course is, is rice. Well, uh, it's it's. Well, it says because I wanted yeah, to read that's this what, part. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. A classic combination of rice, sweet onion, mint, and dill is gently wrapped inside tender grape leaves, served at room temperature, and paired with feta. So that's what we did here. We um. Pulled out all the dolmas out of the out of the container, and then we uh, put some feta cheese, and we um, added some olive oil on the feta cheese with some pepper, which is what we like. Yeah. And then we um, put some lemon zest. And it's non-GMO, by yeah. the way, for anyone who cares about that. And, and it's vegan. So, yes, vegan. So it is vegan, and um, the cheese isn't vegan, but the dolmas is. So. So yeah, let's try that. Yeah, with, let's try that. And, and I want to try because didn't it say? Oh, sorry. and um, oh, the that. the feta cheese is just straight feta cheese with a little bit of olive oil, and then it's mixing in with the olive oil that came in the can, which is kind of a lemony. And we always put a little pepper. I don't know. I'm not, I, some of it's like look looks pretty, but then I like it we like, like feta cheese with pepper. So we'll try there's that. A, there's a um, well, try Persian place. restaurant that we go to. Yes. Ooh. And get to go, and they we always have the feta cheese and olives. I mean, we get that every time we go there. That's perfect. So here's the thing. Oh with wow, that goes great with the cheese. I haven't even tried the dolmas yet. So here's the thing with dolmas, everybody. Um, and I think it is kind of an acquired and I, and I think, taste. Yes, and I think I think we all know it's an acquired taste. But one of the things is that sometimes you know, they're they're on the mushy side. They're like I don't know if they're overcooked or if they're over processed. I'm not sure what, but you get them and they're kind of mushy. The grape leaves kind of 
little bitter maybe sometimes. These are um, bad for and canned. That, and that, yeah, and I was going to say, and that generally portrays to cans, can domus only, which we've had our share, fair share of. But every once in a while in a restaurant, let's face it, we've all kind of had that, just kind of that, you know, kind domus. Of blah. Um, these are for a canned. Yeah, look at, I mean, product. look at the chunks of the rice. It's like, it's whole. It's not like mushy or anything. There's a little bit of the snap when you cut into it. Um, the rice isn't mushy. You can kind of have the individual uh, grains of rice. Mm -hmm. The flavors are all there um, for a canned product. Man, I'm going to give this like a solid. It's really good. And I'm gonna I give wasn't it an eight. sure. I think it was around 5 or $6 at the grocery store, mm. which it could be a little bit expensive, but because it is imported from Greece and it I think it's a quality Yeah. I think it's a quality product. And I think we've had Davina olives or something before. So um I think it's a quality product for canned. What about you, baby? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm gonna give that a solid eight. I mean I mean a solid eight. Oh, and this, so the wine really goes good with, perfect with both. Everything. It goes good um, with the feta cheese and the dolmas. Yeah. Um, and the dolmas and the feta cheese go really well together. Yeah. And with the dolmas, um, we, uh, it, it is, does it have to be in the refrigerator? I think it said refrigerate, right? Well, it came, it was in the refrigerator section, okay. so I put it in the refrigerator, so it's, but it does it's say a refrigerator serve refrigerated room can product, yeah, but then serve it. We like, we like it slightly cool, so not like just straight, like an 80 degree temperature, but, um, yeah, um. I like it. We would, uh, yeah, so just, you know, leave it in the refrigerator when you're ready, take it out about, like, I don't know, 45 minutes before you're going to serve it. I think that's it. what we did. I took it out about 45 yeah. minutes ago. Um. Yeah, that's a really good. You know, good, I really like it, really, and I'm going to give it a nine- because, okay. And I'm not going to give it a 10 because it's not homemade. But for a canned product, this is like better than some restaurants I've had. So I'm giving it a 9 because it is better than sometimes I've had at restaurants. And let's and, face it, like oh, there's certain places that you live, there just isn't any Greek restaurants. So most of your Greek stuff's going to have to kind of be canned slash what you make. Right. Um, It's just... It is what it is. Okay, this so this is better than what we've had so, in Albuquerque, I'd say. Oh yeah, I think. I, oh God, I hate to say that, but it's almost better than the restaurant that we generally go to. Um, That's what I'm saying. So yeah, I really like it. That's really good. So and it goes great with the. All wine. right, so so I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll meet you and I'll just say let's just give it a nine for a canned product. How about all right, that? Yeah, because right. it is a canned product, but it's yeah. a very good quality. So so I highly recommend. Yes, and maybe there are other this. products. I guess we'll have We're to try have to some try other some stuff. other products. I highly yeah. recommend that. And this wine is really good. I'd say I especially like I said, I have only had Greek wine in Greece. So I haven't had any Greek wine in since like 2004, I think was when I went to Greece, 2003 or 2004 when I was with NATO, um, we went to Greece. Mm. So it's been 16 years since I've had Greek wine. Oh yeah. And this is really good. Mm. I really like this wine. Um, I highly recommend this wine. I'd say oh. I'd give it like a nine. You want to do a nine? Mm -hmm. I'd say let's do a nine. And it goes yeah. great with what we're eating. It goes yeah. great with the feta cheese. It goes great with the with the dolmas. It it is a drinkable I think wine. This could I think this could pair a little bit with some Spanish uh like mm. dry mm -hmm. Spanish cheeses. Oh, chorizo. I bet yes. this would go great with chorizo. So, and obviously fish, lamb, pork. Grilled chicken, meats. any grill type I'd of even grill. say like a like yeah, a, Mediterranean style grilled meats and stuff. You should be fine. I'd even say, um, uh, what is that? That Greek, that Greek like mac and cheese. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. The, the Greek mac and cheese. Moussaka. Is that moussaka? <laughs> moussaka. Moussaka. I think it would go with that. Um, and um, oh, you know what? Hummus. 
Well, my yeah. hummus would go great with yeah, it. Yeah, see. I do have to make that video for y'all. I made hummus. No, because we're having feta cheese bake, and that's different. You're going to have hummus later. I'm going to make hummus later. But you can have hummus and feta cheese bake. No, but we're trying, not, we're trying to watch our figures, oh, yeah, baby. These videos are making us... I know, these bitch. <laughs> so, anyway, so I'm going to buy more of this wine, and we're going to have it with the, with the hummus. That'll work. And we'll sit outside. Cause Maybe. We were going to be doing this outside, and then it got all windy, and now it's starting to cloud over. And well, it's, winter so it's, sucks. Still, it's still... Okay, so when we're filming this, yeah. it's still January. In yes. March, when we film... Hopefully. We'll have, we hopefully will have a warm snap in March. We typically have a warm snap in March, so we'll film outside again, and then it gets cold again, and it snows, like, the second week of May. The flavor Go figure. There. But... That works. Anyway, I really like it. So... I think we're done. All right, so the Dolmas, the Divina Dolmas. It's really good. We're giving that a nine for a can product. It's pretty damn and good. And if, if you wanted to try this, but we're always afraid to try it, I would try yeah. this. It, it's good. The odd. Uh, it's got a little bit of a lemon. So, like for me, I'm not really an overly lemon fan. So, if you don't really like lemon, just be warned that there's lemon in this. The Gorgitico. Uh, Nima from the Greek wine cellars. We're gonna give this a nine as well. It's really good. This is a good. really good wine. Um, definitely for a hot, dry summer day. Oh yeah. Um, but also, it can go anywhere. You can definitely drink this alone. Although I'm almost certain you're gonna want some like Thomas or some feta you know cheese, what? little little chunks with it or something. You know how sometimes we're drinking wine and it tastes good by itself. And then when you have food, it doesn't taste so good. And then after food, it's really yucky. This wine is before, during, and after food. Yes. Yeah. This is a highly drinkable God, wine. Oh, oh I just yeah. love a huge thing. Of, so oh God, this is good. a highly drinkable wine. You can drink it yeah, it's all gonna go by away. itself. Let's drink it at you all You can today. drink it Two bottles, with I'm sure. food. Yeah. So far, what we've tried so far. So it should go with the feta cheese bake that yes. I'm making uh, for later. I'm getting hungry, And then... Too. Um, it actually tastes good after because you know sometimes wine tastes good before and during but then after it doesn't taste good this tastes good before during and after so not bad for a start for 2021 yeah I really like this wine yeah. so how's everybody doing <laughs> I mean we're I don't know I guess we're well so we survived um, that year and now we're gonna see what this year brings um, I don't know. Oh, and you know what this would also go with is that bread I made. Yeah. Because I made an olive-infused olive. bread. Yeah. Baguette. So. Yeah. So, you know. We're going to have with the feta cheese bake for the next video. So, you have to hit that subscribe button. So, if you want to see the third video in this, because this is the second video today that we filmed. Oh. You want to see that third video, hit that subscribe button because the week after this one, Gets posted. Yeah. We're gonna post that feta cheese bake, and you guys will love it. It is and another it, recipe that we swipe from a restaurant. And remember, that's you know <laughs> that. And remember, and that's what gets got us through this year. Gets us through, you know, like any, you know, it, you know, most years are good, you know. But there's always that's just life living. So like, you know, make it doesn't have to be Sunday, but make a day yours, whatever day you're off. Some of us have like weird days, like Tuesday and Wednesday in the middle of the week and stuff. And just make it yours and, and, and do... I'm glad we both have you, Sundays off because I don't think Tuesdays with heart would sound yeah, very good. No. <laughs> um, and I like, you know, like I said, like we said, right? It's like, it does it. Yeah, some of this stuff is maybe, you know, like a little on the pricey side. I mean, I'll eat bucks for it. But, you know, but the thing is, is it's like a once a month thing, you know, maybe twice a week if you can, you know, and it's like, it's just, you can just make it yours. It's all, that's all it is, is just... It's sitting down, and even if it is, it's ordering pizza from your favorite pizza place and doing, you know, with your favorite for someone. And, you know, yeah, I mean, that's what Sundays with Heart is, and it doesn't yes. necessarily, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, whatever. And I know that's what's kept us sane. Um, that's the thing is is to keep in mind as we go into this year is that because I, you know. It's There's going to be more challenges. It's this. probably going to be a bumpy buckle up, but if you if you focus on working hard and making that one day, even like that one four hour block, that's just for you. You're going to make it, you know, you're going to, and, and it's time for you to reflect on your, on your, on your week and your progress 
And you know, that's another thing. It's a, it's a first of the year. So like you can write down those goals, you know, get that progress, you know, kind of start trying to make progress, you know, write stuff on your calendar and keep your calendar. I've kept my calendar from last year. And oh my God, just write all over it. COVID, COVID, COVID this and COVID that and all this stuff and everything else. But I can, you know, like I, it's, I think it's helped me like kind of continue to move forward and, uh, like keep doing what I'm doing and I've been kind of been back to writing and stuff again and kind of like enthusiastic about one that. One of these days we are going to do a video about our writing. One of these days. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyways. Anyways. Yes. So, so yes. Dolmas is a nine. The wine is, is a, a nine. nine. Get it. Buy it. Carve out that time for yourself because you got to love. Lust. And laugh. Take care of yourself. Yes, Take we're care gonna, of one another. We're gonna make it. We love you yeah. guys. Thank you so much for watching our videos. No, well, I look like James Bond. You do look like James Bond. Ooh, we should watch James Bond. I yeah. love James Bond. Yeah. I can't wait for the new movie. I could, you know, I would be kind of Casino Royale. We've seen it a hundred million times, but you know that train when they're eating dinner. I know that's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, it's like we're so weird because there's like these little favorite parts, and they really aren't the action. They're not. It's because it's like they're dressed impeccable and they're stylish and well, they're whatever. It's their they're like the sailboat. They're and, building their relationship, and that. Yeah, who cares about that? I just like the look and the style. No, but it's they're building their relationship. Oh my and it God. is Ava Green. So and it is Ava Green. Which, so, anyways, a little bit here, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> anyways, love you too. We gotta go. Bye. Bye.